What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. I'm coming to you from my basement. It's a cold morning out there. We had some freezing mist yesterday, and uh, it was sort of a mix between drizzle and mist. It was enough for me to have to go to work for a while, and uh, I was able to get home safely. I had to put the truck and four-wheel drive to back into the driveway, and then I actually had to put bricks in front of my wheels to stop it from sliding on the ice. So, um... Today, I'm going to be taking you with me. i got to go to the local Ace Hardware and pick up some ice melt. Uh, I don't normally use, nor do I recommend, ice melt for anything. Uh, um, but there are certain circumstances where you have to. So what happened was, is it was warm yesterday. We had some regular drizzle that then turned into a freezing drizzle and mist. And it covered everything in like a tenth or two tenths of an inch of ice. Um, wasn't enough to cause any power outages, but there was a zillion spin outs and accidents on all the expressways it got really really bad really fast so my driveway looks like someone sprayed it perfectly with ice you could ice skate on it you know sprayed it with water and created a nice rink so um then the temperatures so after it was freezing drizzle the temps went above freezing and then middle of the night early morning they dropped like a rock cold front came through everything refroze so what happened is the ice started to melt in the driveway it froze even more and it's it's solid so i'm gonna just pick up some ice melt i'll take you along for the ride um the temps are gonna stay cold i have no choice but to put something down i'll show you what to buy the proper way to use it uh the proper amount to put down and we'll kind of show it working so um i'll see you guys in a minute i'm gonna get ready get the truck started warmed up and uh we'll ice skate out to the truck together i'll try and film in the store it depends on how crazy it is and how busy it is but um either way we'll go over what i bought and we'll kind of show you how you, how it's done and the differences in different types of ice melt so uh we'll see you guys in a little bit what's up everyone we are at uh my local ace hardware in winfield indiana and everything's melting which is good but i'm going to take you guys inside and uh show you guys the differences in salts um Ice melt, rock salt, differences, and all that stuff, so. But, uh. I got you. So I'm trying to find it. But, uh, this is Gus Box Ace. So we're in the ice melt aisle. This is the Ace brand. This is really good stuff. Um, none of it is safe for concrete but some of it is safer than others. So, um, this one is sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, hexahydrate. Um, and then there's the Surepaws, which is more uh, safer for animals. Uh, this is magnesium chloride, hexahydrate as well with potassium sulfate. So all of them are going to accomplish the same thing. And then rock salt is just rock salt. That's what they spread on the roads. Um, and it melts, but it's not as good at lower temperatures where some of this stuff is. And then there's other ones that are treated with different things. You can see this one melts down to 16 below, and it's easy to see. So um, I've always had really good luck with the just the Ace brand. So it's good down to 10 below. And uh, it really helps with, um, it doesn't leave a lot of residue. Calcium chloride is really good at melting at low temperatures, but it leaves a residue behind that's almost like slime. And if you have like terrazzo tile or ceramic, it makes it really, really slippery. So I'm going to pick up just a shaker of the, the Ace brand just to have. Um, and just remember that the ice melters are always better than rock salt because they're not as um, 
corrosive on your driveway. They won't cause as much pitting. You want to sprinkle just a light amount and then sweep it off when you're done. So um, I got a few other things on my list and uh, we'll kind of do some other shopping, but that, that's kind of the, the general gist of it. And it is nice that it comes with the, the shaker bottle because then you can just buy a bag and refill it. So I keep it down. I'm trying to shoot a YouTube's over here. So this is what I ended up going with, the Ace brand of their ice melter. Uh, Rapid Long Lasting Performance was my nickname in high school. Um, so it's an 11 pound jug. What's nice about these is it has the uh, flapper with the grooves so it's easily uh, applied. And like I said inside it's uh, sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, hexahydrate, MG104. So basically your rock salt's good to about 15, 10 degrees. Once you get below that you're in trouble. Um, that's why a lot of times, um, on your main roads and highways and stuff, you'll see them spraying liquid calcium on their loads of salt to try and help out. So, um, anything with th that formulation in it is going to be solid for, uh, when it gets really cold out. And, and even if it's not really cold out, it tends to be safer on your, your concrete, your, you know, your driveway. And like I said, none of it is truly 100% safe. Well, let's just call a spade a spade, but some is safer than others. Anything that is not rock salt is going to be safer than rock salt. So your calcium chloride, potassium chloride, magnesium chloride, all that stuff, that's going to be, hey, keep it down over there. Um, that guy's hustling, dude, moving pallets of salt around. And then there's like, um, what was I saying? Uh, so any of that stuff's going to be safer than, you know, your, um, your rock salt. Um, less harsh, I like to say. So, um, that's what I got. And I don't usually use it because I face south at my house. So the sun always melts everything, but you just never know. There's going to be days like this where there's going to be layers of ice that you need to get melted. Um, and what's nice about that shaker jug is you can refill it with a bag of ice melt of your choice. And there's different like eco blends and, and whatnot that are coated with a liquid. I somehow so that they cut that video off. We're still here. We're still at the old uh, Ace Hardware, Gus Box, Ace and Winfield. I somehow cut that video off. I'm trying to keep you guys out of the sun. Maybe that's better. Um, I think, I'm again, I'm still a rookie YouTuber, so I somehow cut the camera off. Or somebody called me and cut it off because I use my iPhone. But... There's the different salts and ice melts that are covered with a liquid that helps it activate because liquid and friction activate ice melt and salt. Uh, it has to form a bit of a brine for it to start to work. So no matter what you use, just remember that rock salt is going to be the most corrosive. And, you know, calcium chloride is kind of the next corrosive. It works really well under extremely cold temperatures, but it can leave a residue um, behind that looks almost like white Elmer's glue from when you were a kid. Um, and it can cause us a, a little slickness on some tiles. Um, so, ah, a little ASMR for you. <coughs> um, yeah, so that's, um, that's kind of the gist of it. You want to stick with an ice melter. So you're a little less corrosive and a little bit truly goes a long way. Um, I don't know if I already said that or not. So with that being said, I'm going to sign off. I got some things I got to do today. I got football to watch and, um, follow me on Instagram at turf underscore the letter N underscore Q Q U E a lot of barbecue and, um, cooking and grass as the name would imply. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. Like the videos. Hit the bell so you get the notifications when I upload. I've been doing a lot of shorts lately because I have fun with that. Um, and then, Leave a comment and let me know if there's something you want me to cover. Um, I'm, I got some content in my brain lined up that I want to execute and put out on the channel for the wintertime when we're not mowing because we're not lucky enough to mow year-round like some YouTubers are looking at you at Air Lawn Care Nut. Um, but remember, do something in the lawn or the snow or the ice, even if it's wrong, and we'll see you next time, friends.